Hello and welcome. We are going to be now talking about the geography paper. How should you approach the preparation for the geography paper for students of ICSE class 10? With me is Ma'am Usha Sudhir, who teaches geography at the Hyderabad Public School in Begumpet in Hyderabad. Uh, a major concern for students, Ma'am, is relating to topo sheets. Uh, they feel rather daunted by it. Is there a reason to feel daunted by the topography sheets? No, 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 no such reason as a particular reason is there. Only that there is a fear that they may not do well and not get the 20, 20 on 20. But if they go through the topo sheet well and relate the question uh, and the topo correctly, I'm sure all the answers are actually in the topo sheet. So what should they do, ma'am, during those 15 minutes? Should they look at the topo sheet and understand? Yes, uh, they should read the question and the topo. At the same time, try to actually in this 15 minutes, they can find the answer also. Mm. And it, uh, the uh, first 30 minutes, they can spend only on topo sheet mm. and the map. Okay. So that becomes like they can save the, that one and a half hour. They can keep it for the section B. They can so keep you're it. suggesting that the students should start with the topography straight away, attack it directly so that they can kind of have those 20 marks out of the way. Yes, right. That's and later on go for the map marking. Map. Okay, let, let's start with the topography. How should students prepare for the topography during the days before the examination? Yeah, they should have the practice maps mm -hmm. and uh, uh, solve the 10 years papers. And mostly I've seen that the questions are repeated. They can't be different because it's something we taught and the same thing, it's agriculture or, uh, no, I mean, trade or whatever occupations. Daughter, all these things are repeated again and again. So there is no nothing uh, very different. Only maybe when we talk about the distance, it could be like measuring the distance. There is a variation in that. That's it. Otherwise, the questions are same. So when you are talking about measuring the uh, the distance, how do they actually uh, do that? I mean, how do they practice for the fourth grade and the sixth grade? Uh, fourth grade and sixth grade is simple. So directly they can ch uh, no check what are what are the numbers are there and and that. And if uh, suppose they're asking about a sixth grade reference from one, uh, no measuring the distance at that time they have to first do the sixth grade and then uh, put the points on both the ends and then take the thread and measure or scale and measure directly. If it is direct, if it's an indirect distance, then they have to use a thread. Then take the thread, measure it on the scale and divide it by two and get your kilometer answer. But they have to be absolutely precise about the measurements, right? So that is why they have to measure it twice to make confirm their answer is correct or not. And uh, they should not, the student should not forget to divide it by two and, and do not round off the decimals. You are not supposed to round off. Whatever decimal is there, write the same decimal and they should not forget to write even the unit. If there is no unit, no marks. They just give zero. Okay. So, that, so that need to be kept in mind. Okay. Yeah. That's that's very important that uh, the kind of tips that ma'am is telling what you should take care for as far as the topography sheet is concerned. Uh, let's now talk about the map marking which is which accounts for 10 marks. Uh, how should the students practice for map marking? Actually map marking one board is very particular about map marking. If a small mistake also they don't spare it. They tell them put strike it off get zero. What are the small mistakes that students often do? Of uh, the general mistakes are Western Ghats when they mark, what they do is they touch the river Tapi, which is not not correct. It should not touch. Uh, but after Tapi, they can go till down. Other rivers it can touch, but not Tapi. On the east coast, on the eastern side particularly, it can be between Kaveri and Krishna and Godavari and Mahanadi and not in between Krishna and Godavari. And it should be little far, maybe half a centimeter away from the coast. So in, you, would you advise that students do it uh, with a grey normal pencil or do they use colour? Uh, they have to use the colours. They have to use the appropriate colours which have been taught to them. Mm. So that it is, and they have to write small and neatly and also they have to write the number, question number along with it. Like uh, for example, Gulf of Mannar if they mark and it is C. So write Gulf of, shade the Gulf of Mannar and write, write the alphabet also, whatever the question number is, C in the bracket. No, uh, uh, should they write the C outside of Gulf of Manar or? Right outside, along with the name. Okay. Along with the name they write. And then they put an order, I mean an they arrow. should point the feature. So the they put a C, they write uh, Gulf of Manar and that points to the, yes. uh, the, the place, feature, yeah. not the name. Not the name, not the name. And the council frowns upon if yes. the arrow is in the other direction. Yes, naturally they are asking the feature, they are not asking the name. So okay. they are asking them to point out the feature. Okay. So they have to point the feature. So. Uh, Practice just like in topo sheets as much as possible as far as the maps are yes, concerned. Yes, yeah, ten year papers are all available and also other uh, workbooks are available in the market. So they can take those, buy those books and practice them thoroughly. And any doubt, I think they can get back to the teachers. Right. You know? So uh, once the topo sheets and the maps are taken care of, 30 marks in the bag, we come to section B, which are five out of nine questions. Lot of choice. Students often think that this is an opportunity to 
study selectively that you can actually study for those five units or if you want to re reduce the risk element six or even yes. seven what would you as a teacher suggest what would you advise them? see to gain knowledge i think we should read everything yes. Yes. that's the best thing and of course because now we want to score very well you make your right choices or smart choices and those who are weak i think they should uh, stick on to the five chapters so that at least they get through that no, they cross that hurdle and I'm sure they will do well if they make so the right choice. Which are the five chapters which uh, are uh, kind of easy in terms of smart study? Uh, smart study, may you can start with uh, those who are very good, they can go for climate. The others, instead of climate, they can choose transport or waste management. But after that, after climate, soil, natural vegetation, water resources, conventional and non-conventional resources, energy resources, all this can be, uh, they can make the choices. Okay. So uh, they take care of these kind of single unit chapters which yes. are which would be easy Easier. in terms of navigation. But when it comes to geography, I mean, is it about understanding because a lot of its students would complain is about rote learning? No, no. It's a lot of understanding because you, you see, you will find that question papers in each bit, in each 10 marks, there is a two, surely a three marks or two marks application based. Mm -hmm. So they don't, it's not easy to get 10 on 10 in every, every question. Give an example. Like, uh, for example, uh, in case of uh, water resources, they'll ask you, like, uh, name, name, uh, name a canal and how is it in, uh, no, how is it, uh, how can, how can you suggest that it is, it has uh, increased uh, production there? How do you know that it has increased production in Rajasthan? Okay. Like that. Okay. So, at that time, they should be talking about the, how the canal has made the desert land into, into a cultivable land today they are growing even wheat in such some areas of rajasthan so, so like that in that sense it tests your knowledge not just about the chapter but also the water, water resources. resources so there is a link between the two like okay. generally so even though they are standalone chapters there could be these kind of links which could be explored yes surely and it is not that once chapter is single a uh, single way it is handed and only questions are going to come from there they can be a link between the two chapters also okay. so students will have to be aware of this that there could be these kind of links which could be putting them in a tricky spot. Yes, and generally I've seen, uh, surely you know, you'll find that uh, such questions are under then in every every bit of it, like every every 10 marks they have it. Okay, so just doing five may be definitely be a little risky. They need to probably have some kind of a buffer. Uh, yes, uh, they should have. I think at least two extra they should have. They buffer. Should have. Keywords, how do students kind of gauge that these are the important keywords that I should definitely have and probably even underline? Yeah, they uh, see whenever we teach particularly, we always tell them these are the keywords, learn them. So, and yeah, if they, they're very sure about the keyword, they can underline it. So it becomes easier for the examiner also. And it, it looks a neat work when you're underlining something and very clear, the paper is very clear. So naturally, he doesn't lose his marks anyway. So, and you're not expecting when you go for evaluation, you're not expecting very long, lengthy answers. You're expecting no, to the point. geography, just to the point. Mm. It topo sheet to only just does just the one word or the two words, whatever the number yes, yes. and the calculations. That's it. Not not more than that. You and can't describe. Yeah, units. Units are very important. Yes. As I told you, know if they know units, no marks. It's like that. Okay. So uh, not long, not descriptive, very lengthy answers. Geography is not descriptive. Very to just to the point. Mm -hmm. Even uh, lessons like natural vegetation, where we talk about global warming and all that, they ask you to be precise to the point. Mm -hmm. Uh, just the definition and maybe why it occurs like that. So they just uh, stick on to that. Right. Yeah. Geography highly scoring if they actually approach it in an intelligent and a very methodical manner. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for all the tips that you have given, suggestions and your valuable time. Thank you very much. The students will find it very useful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So